Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's discussion post. Uh, my name is Cade Williams. For this week's post, I decided to select an old arcade style game called Crowns Golf. Uh, let me give you a little bit of information about Crowns Golf. Crowns Golf was made in 1984, uh, designed and developed by NASCO Japan and produced by Sega. Uh, like I said, this game came out in 1984 and was made by Sega. It was originally a uh, wide release in arcade style. Uh, I found some pictures of the actual body of the arcade game. Let me go ahead and try to get that in the frame a little bit. Um, here you see the actual uh, arcade uh, gameplay that was produced in 1984. Uh, when this game came out, it was at maximum a two-player game, uh, simultaneously only being able to play by one player. That means one player can only play at a time. You would alternate your shots. Um, the controller uh, pad was up left, down right, it had a, a directional pad, and then it had uh, alternating buttons for club selection and uh, power control. Uh, as you can see right here, there is the, the, the lever, uh, up, down, left, right, and then there's some other buttons over here for power control. Um, this game uh, was one of 570 different arcade style games that Sega produced uh, from 1934, or I'm sorry, 1936. Um, I find that number to be a little low in my opinion, but uh, it, it was just an interesting fact I felt like I would share. Um, they have a rating criteria I was also able to find on the internet that talks about... Uh, Average consumer index on uh, gameplay. What they, what, it's just overall if they like the game or not. This is a great way to explain this. Um, and of the uh, of the percentage people polled for this game, uh, five being the highest, one being the lowest. This game got a average score of a three point seven three. Um, and another technical rating score that they have is this uh, one out of a hundred scale. And this determines the sought afterness or wantedness, uh, wantedness of a game. I'm not sure if that's a word. Uh, just a matter of if people want this game. There's a list of 9,907 members active in the Sega community, avid collectors, video game enthusiasts, people who just generally are in the market for these types of old vintage games. Uh, out of that scale of 1 to 100, 1 being the highest, most often sought after, the hottest on the market, this game ranked a 4. <laughs> um, so there is nobody in the market that is interested in this game. And they also have a little uh, asterisk here that says there is literally no active member in the community of the 9,907 that have expressed any interest in this game. So like I said, it's not really sought after. But uh, I've played the game a little bit, and I could definitely see how this game helped the evolution of games like Hot Shot Golf, Tiger Woods, uh, I mean, even Golden Tee, what I know today. Uh, Golden Tee, I feel like, wouldn't be what it is uh, today without a game like this. This was one of the first created. Like I said, this came out in 1984. Um, it was a color game. It had, uh, it had some interactivity, and it, it definitely is an interesting game. I know I've been talking a lot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop on over now and get some gameplay. I'm um, sorry about the window size. I'm not really able to make it bigger. It's kind of constrained by the uh, fact I can't make this full screen without it messing up the recording software. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to hop on over and play some holes. Um, as you can see, the game starts here, and it starts to load in the graphics. Load in, it loads in the trees, loads in uh, the assets of the game, some of the imagery of the game. Um, I think this is one of the first times that I can recall seeing it actually visually load in like that while you're uh, while you're playing not necessarily progressing in the game because I haven't taken a shot yet but uh, as soon as the game starts you know the game's actually loading in which I think is pretty neat um, so from here we have this little bar this little black bar up top um, that is your feet movement and golf uh, aligning your feet is one of the biggest things you can do so uh, I think it's pretty cool that they have this alignment feature in this game and uh, for for it being an arcade style play game, uh, the translation of the uh, controls onto the keyboard are the uh, arrow keys, left, right, up and down. Uh, when you pull back on the back arrow key, you see he uh, takes his club back. This is how you're going to start initiating power. Um, 
the X key is the change of clubs key. Change of clubs is going to be very crucial in terms of selecting a shot you're trying to hit. That'll you know each each club gives you a little bit more power. Um, and to actually swing, uh, you're going to hit control. So you'll pull back and hit control. Uh, I'm going to give you, like I said, a little rundown again on the game. I'm going to hit in hit in some gameplay now and start taking some shots. Uh, let's go ahead and see what uh, what I can score, what my round can be. So that's a pretty nice shot off the tee. Looks like I should be in the fairway, maybe a little, maybe a little out. Looks like I ended up in the sand trap. Right over here is like a shot map, so it'll uh, keep track of my shot, keep track of the ball when it goes, and then up here is a scorecard. It looks like, um, yeah, it's it's definitely interesting how uh, how the game loads in. The, the graphics and assets like right now I'm not a hundred percent sure if I try to take the shot if uh, this tree will be in my way but we're gonna go ahead and uh, definitely try to uh, try to get around this tree uh, I should probably aim a little to the left just to try to keep this in let's see what we got here okay that wasn't too bad as you can see right here I am on the fairway uh, I guess something I really like about this game is for it being so old, 1984, um, it has this shot tracer. Uh, yeah, you, you can't really get in there and do a lot of in-depth stuff. Like I can't go in and select my character or change clubs or pick fancy golf balls and stuff like you can do in Tiger Woods and stuff nowadays. Uh, but this being one of the you know foundation games for sports genres, golf game, any, I mean anything like that, I, I will say I am very impressed with, uh, with the play of this game so far. Uh, and I want to I want to see what we can try to score on this hole. Oh, come on! All right, I think I almost chipped that one in. I'm one yard to the cup. It looks like here. Let's see if I can put this in. Okay, this would be for uh for a bogey right here. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, we got a six. We're still alive. Uh, so obviously, as you um, play through the holes, you'll go to the next hole. And each hole looks like it potentially is getting a little bit harder here. Uh, this one is 482 yards. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Let's rip it. Nice shot. I should be in the middle of the fairway. Oh, maybe not. In the sand again. Um, let me see if there's any other information I should talk about general game stuff. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess, uh, something I don't like, I haven't really mentioned a lot of what I don't like because this game is not bad. Uh, I, guess, I don't really like the audio soundtrack. I know audio back then was one of the like lower priorities, but, uh, it's just kind of cartoonish and annoying in my opinion more than anything uh, that wasn't a smart shot there that's gonna hurt my score but I would definitely uh, I would definitely see myself playing this game back in the day um, I'm honestly enjoying this gameplay is fun um, it's complicated you know you got to get used to it and learn the controls a little bit but uh, it's it's a it's a game I would be more than happy to kill some time and uh, play around the golf on when I'm not able to actually play in person. That was a good shot. Good shot. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just uh trying to change clubs here and make sure I get on. There we go. Come on. Not in the water. Not in the water! Oh, okay. Like, I'm still alive. This is a par five. This is my seventh shot. That's not really good, but we'll have to. Uh... Not do that. 
So game over looks like I lost. Um, yeah, that's it. So if you if you exceed the shot limit or if it looks like you get more than a double bogey, you are uh, game over. <laughs> you don't even get to play a full nine holes, full 18, nothing like that. If you, do, if you don't make it, it's kind of cutthroat. You're out. Um, I hope you guys like this video this week. Uh, please like, comment, and share. Here you go again, the credits about the game. Um, but yeah, like, comment, share. I honestly had a great time. I enjoyed this game. I will definitely play this game. I would like to maybe one day find this game in an arcade somewhere and try to play the uh, original arcade style, see if I have any more luck at it. But uh, it's a game I think everybody should check out. Like I said, uh, leave your comments, leave your reviews. Let me know if, what you think. Let me know if, you'll play, if you'd be interested in playing this game. Uh, have a great weekend. Have a great, uh, great day, everybody. Bye-bye.